Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included, the Accept Every Dupe Challenge. But first, you must look into the portal. You're feeling very sleepy. Look into the portal. Uh, this episode, I have a project in mind. Actually, I recorded an entire episode um, and realized that I couldn't do what I was going to do. So I <laughs> reloaded from a save. That's why this episode is one day late. I'll tell you what I what I did do and how it's not going to work, and then what I ended up doing. But first, uh, we did some stuff off camera, as usual, as the game gets into later game. Our ice asteroid. We've done quite a bit here since the last episode, and I see that there's drips and drops in the floor, which we'll have to clean up. Um, there was a lot of things melting, so I had to do a bunch of cleanup here. But what's new in here? We've got a petroleum generator that's new, and I brought some petroleum in using the uh, payload railgun thing on the other planet. Shot it in here, and we've got um, got a decent amount of petroleum here now to run a petroleum generator, because these solar panels were not cutting it for power. Because I needed to build a liquid tepidizer, which is down here in this tank. And it's a little bit tricky to get the tepidizer working when it's not in a liquid, and I had no liquid to start with. So it was a bit of a chicken and egg situation. But if you, you can fool it by... You can see it going on and off. If you um, turn any kind of automation on and off, you can use a switch or you can use any kind of thing. You can fool it into thinking it's in water. And then it'll turn on. And then I put some ice, ice uh, shift plates in here. I'll put some more in here now as well. Oh, uh, we got lots of ice, because the whole planet is ice. Those probably don't need to be priority nine. Let's bring those down to six or something. So then I got some some of those in there. Uh, melted the ice, got a little bit of water going. And once I got some water going, it was a little bit easier to add more ice plates and get more water. And then everything started to heat up. And everything started to melt, and I had a bit of a melty disaster. Really frustrating. Lots of mopping, lots of digging. Uh, all this top stuff up here was melting and dropping down. Same with over here. We have to clean up over here still. Uh, I'll get on that this episode. We got some ice over here. You kind of have to get the ice first and then do the mopping because sometimes it freezes into little tiny balls and then you have to pick it up. And So pick it up first, then mop it, then pick it up again if there's anything left over. What else did I do here? I put in... I opened up the volcano, and then it was way too hot, so what I did was I sealed it off again, but occasionally I'll, bring, I'll remove this tile here, and let some of the heat escape, and then I put a tile down here to let some of the heat escape down into this area to warm it up. Uh, the dupes on this planet are eating mush bars. I imported a bit of food, but um, since then I've just been getting them to eat mush bars, and actually I'm going to turn them turn them off. Actually, turn them off here. Because they got 82,000. They're good for a while. And we don't want all that food rotting. So let's turn that off for now. I should set up the smart the fridges to be a bit smarter so that we can control this thing. You know what? We can do that right now. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, choked my water. Okay, so uh, let's... For now, empty this fridge and put everything, we'll shift it all into this fridge. So when this fridge gets full, it sends a green signal and then that will enable the uh, micro musher. I think that'll work well. Let's pick that priority nine, yep, yeah, okay. Now this thing, the temporal tear opener. This is related to the end game, I think. Uh, it says right now the line of sight is obstructed. I have a feeling this thing shoots a laser or some kind of thing which then opens. If we go to the star map, I've been doing a bit more exploring. This thing appeared, the temporal tear. Now in the original game, if you go to the, through the, if you send your rocket to the temporal tear, which is the farthest place to go, you end the game, you win. It's the ending. I've never done it for the DLC yet, so I'm ha I have a feeling that's what this is. So, uh, wrong planet. 
Uh, I think I need to clear the view here so that I can shoot off into space. And my rocket right now is in the way, so... Might have to move the rocket over a bit. Uh, we'll have to move the pad over a bit. Uh, maybe to the left more. Uh, you know what? Let's kind of start that project right now. Aluminum. Uh, sure. And then I think we'll be okay to move it over here. We'll have to launch it, put in... Actually, we'll have to launch it and take it all the way home, I think. Range remaining 12 tiles. How many tiles away are we from the home planet? Hard to tell exactly, like one, two, three, maybe? So we could probably, oh, you know, it doesn't take anything to go into orbit. So we can go into orbit. It doesn't need any fuel, I don't think. Come straight back down, but land on a different pad. I think that'll work. So we'll get them to build that priority six. What else is going on here? We've got, um, I did have electrolyzers running freely in the ba freely in the base here. And then I had a bit of a disaster and I had to deconstruct them and... But, uh... I'll, I'll get them going again and when it when they ramp up again... Uh, the hydrogen ends up here, mostly. And then we got a sensor detecting hydrogen. And then any extra hydrogen we filter out and burn off. In our hydrogen generator. I think we can probably... I was just trying to fill up this water tank up to this level before I started siphoning off water. Alright, we got a lot of excess piping here I can probably clean up. I think what I'll do is probably branch off the output here, right like this. And then store some excess over here. I think that's what I'll do. And the reason I'm storing water is twofold. Uh, one for the electrolyzers, but the other reason is I'm going to try to build a nuclear reactor on this planet. And not for power, but uh, to melt the melt the whole biome. I don't think I'll be doing that this episode, though. The focus will be... Uh, let's go over to Grossado here first, make sure everything's okay. This whole planet exists just to feed the tree. We've got 211,000 calories. I think what I'll do is crack this tile here. Send the food down. We got lots of resin. Which I think if you heat up to a certain temperature, it turns into iso resin. Don't really need iso resin right now, but it could be useful. So we'll remove that and then we'll release the cooked mushrooms. And the tree should gobble away. There it goes. The resin is being secreted. It's a... Oh, it's the whole purpose is just to pee resin. Okay, let's put that tile back. Okay, this planet is pretty good. It's got lots of... It had lots of food. It has lots of excess food. I think we're good. Oxygen's good. There's enough sand here. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to the main planet because that's the that's what I want to do this episode and I'll tell well first let's take a dupe on because we're trying to get to 100 dupes farmer sure sounds good we're still trying to get to that 100 dupe mark we're at 86 oxygen still pretty good food has been going oh actually down quite a bit here uh, we were at like two and a half million or something before. I think I might have to put some more food in. We do have a lot of food in the form of these guys here who are overcrowded. How many are in here? Only eight. What about up top in the overflow chamber? Holy crap, look at all these guys. We now have uh, 28 of them in there. And in here, how many do we got in here? Critters eight, critters 13. Okay, I think I'm going to... Uh, make some barbecue out of these guys. Always exciting. A big barbecue fest. I gotta make sure all my food is being stored. Uh, 
properly here. I right, change things up a little bit. I think we're good. Okay, we're good on that one. Um, the little pip farm over here is going pretty well. They don't have any sleet weed at the moment to plant, but they'll get some. It should go in this container once it's ready. Okay, but the main focus of the episode, let's zoom out here, is going to be this down here. Now, my original plan in the video I recorded was to use the magma. I want to get rid of the magma, basically. I found in the past if I debug mop all the magma, the game performance goes up. Uh, but we don't want to cheat doing that, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to try to cool it down. And my original plan was to use crude oil, boil it with a magma, turn it into sour gas, and then vent the sour gas into space, because we don't really need it, because we got tons of energy from nuclear. Uh, the sour gas we could cool and turn it into natural gas through methane, but um, didn't really want to build a sour gas boiler. But what I realized it was going to take probably like a million cycles to pump <laughs> all the sour gas to the surface once we started bubbling this oil off. So then my next thought was uh, pump all the oil into storage container up here, which is getting pretty full. And then use water in this whole bottom layer and a bunch of steam turbines to boil the magma. Now I realized there was going to there was 2 million kilograms of oil down here when I started. And that was going to take a while. Uh, 55 hours, in fact, with one pump. More pumps, you could bring that down, but still, it was going to be hours and hours and hours. So I decided I'm just going to take a sliver here and boil some water using the magma, run it through some stir steam turbines to delete the heat, and then kind of get this going here. Now it took many, many cycles to uh, prepare this, and it's still not done. We're still like, trying to get a vacuum in here. And I just realized my water pump stopped here. This should actually be leaking in here. What's going on here? Oh, it's closed. Oh, it's on the automation line by mistake. Okay, we're gonna have to destroy that automation link temporarily to get some water in there. And we need a little bit more water coming in. I had used up all the water here, okay. Not a problem, we can steal some water from here. Let it dribble down, dribble down, dribble down, and then get sucked up here. You can see I had a steam turbine here. My, my idea was to do the whole thing originally, and this was going to be a test. But uh, We'll start small. This will be a test, test steam reactor. I needed a little bit of water here in order to keep the steam turbine cool while we ramp things up. We need a little bit more water than that, but we got this water down here. And I'm going to be digging down into this. The water should turn into steam, make its way up here, um, and go through the steam turbines. But these turbines will get hot because they give off lots of heat. So we've got a cooling loop with this aqua tuner, which um, the coolant comes in this way, goes by the sensor. If the aqua tuner is disabled because it's too because the coolant's too cool, it'll shunt this way into the bridge down here. Otherwise it'll go out this way. And come around this way. And it's all insulated ceramic to here. And then from here on out it's steel, which is highly thermally reactive. Um, coolant will cool the steam turbines and then back in it goes and around. But we gotta add some coolant first. I'm gonna use crude oil just because it was available. Petroleum would be better. Uh, super coolant would be even better, but we don't have any just yet. So, I think it's probably safe to start putting coolant in, actually. Now, I think I've learned my lesson now. Output to output. Otherwise, the loop gets locked up if too much stuff goes in. I think with that built like that, it'll be okay. We'll see pretty soon here. Okay, they brought the materials and then they ran away. What priority is it? Nine? Yep. 
We'll get around to it. But I think we should have enough water in here to just fire this thing up. Now we're going to have to probably use some automation once we get down into the magma a bit here. Okay. Coolant is going in. And we'll find out if, uh... It works properly. Otherwise, we can always take some out of the pipe if it doesn't work. Is it going through? Oh, we don't have our automation. That's probably enough water right there, so let's put that automation wire back in. Otherwise, things won't work. Uh, we're using steel here. We can go around this way, actually. That's probably better. Like that. We've got a double liquid lock with petroleum here, and this is vacuumed out, so it should keep the temperature, uh, all the heat from leaking out here, because this will get much hotter in here. Probably around 200 degrees. There goes the coolant. Looking good. There's one interesting thing that happened to me as well that I want to talk to you guys about. Should we keep putting water in here? I guess we'll cut this off. Let's actually disable this pump for now. We got enough water in there. Okay. Um, there we go. It is working. And it is stuck. <laughs> okay, I must have done it wrong. Okay, we're going to remove this bridge. And we'll take a little bit of oil out and then it should start flowing again. I thought this was the right way. I thought the output to the output would make it so it would work just fine, but I don't think it is. So we need a plumber. I always need a plumber to help empty the lines here. Uh, let's empty right here. Get a little slack in the system. It can start flowing again because right now it is blocked. I think maybe because there's extra... No, there's no contents in there. Hmm. It's not that. Someday I'll learn how to do this properly, but this this uh, this way works. Take a bit of oil out, make sure it's flowing s smoothly. Get the save lag. I'm using the uh, fast save mod, which is making my saves much faster. Okay, that probably is smooth enough. Let's cancel that. Okay, this thing should start getting hot. There she goes. And you know what? Let's put a shift plate here. Add a diamond. Right there. I always forget to put the shift plates in. And now, ideally, we'd have a vacuum in here already, but I wanted to get things started. If we get some CO2 stuck at the top, I think it'll make its way out. We'll find out pretty soon here. Let's tell how does this thing know? Well, you know what? Because it's sitting in water, it's going to take a while to heat up the water. But it'll get there. Assuming the coolant doesn't get too cool. Let's let the coolant go down to zero. Actually, it'll go down to minus 14 if we put this at zero. Because the aqua tuner cools things by 14 degrees. And oil freezes at minus 20, I think. Minus 40. Oh, we're good. We can go really cool. We can go bone chilling cool. Now, another way to get steam in here real quick would just be to dig down here. And maybe I'll do that instead. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, uh, these ladders have to be obsidian because we're going into the, we're going right into the real stuff here. Now the minute the water hits this abyss light tile at 1300 degrees, it should turn into steam. Now abyssalite has a thermal conductivity of zero, so really liquid touching it shouldn't do anything. But they still haven't fixed this bug. Where uh, if you touch hot abyssalite with liquid, it, uh, it transfers heat.
Come on. Oops, you can do it. One more tile and we should get some bubblies. Bubble bubblies. Now once this thing's primed, I can probably uh, remove these tiles and make them uh, mesh tiles instead. Now we don't want this to get too hot, otherwise the steam turbines will just won't be efficient. And we don't want things to melt in here. But here we go, moment of truth. There we go. Steam is being made, and let's check out this abyssalite tile. Look at it go down. 1300. There we go. You know what, it's going to take a while to get any steam out of here. We'll probably have to go deeper. I don't think we're going to... Let's see this water. 37.5. That's actually going to take a while to boil. So we're going to go even deeper here. We do have steam trapped kind of in here. But if we go down one more tile, we'll start sucking the heat out of this tile as well. And this tile. How's this thing doing up here? It's warming up. Should probably put some shift plates along here as well. Let's do that. Let's do some diamond. Right. Oh, probably eight, seven, maybe. Great. Here, here, and here. Okay. Things are heating up. Uh, it's hundred degrees here. We're going deeper. Going into the magma. Okay, Liam, you better not sit around there. It's going to get pretty toasty. Okay, well, that kind of works its magic. Uh, we're going to go... I'm going to tell you about this thing that happened to me that's really frustrating. And hopefully you guys can avoid it. So what happened was... I was off doing other things. Um, the dupes dropped a piece of ice right around here. And it melted. And before I had mesh tile here, the water spilled right in front of this suit here. Which made this suit inoperable. I think it was the suit. It was either the suit or the checkpoint. And then all the dupes started pouring out without suits. Because this one area is broken. And it was a disaster, as you can imagine. They ran into the... Some of them ran into the uh, steam room and started dying. Some of them ran into the oil biome and started dying. It was just... Uh, Massive carnage, and at first I couldn't really understand what was going on, but once I reloaded the save and saw what was happening, I put some mesh tiles here, and that should prevent it in the future. Fingers crossed. Let's go check out uh, the, the bottom here first. We're still sucking all this oil out of here. Uh, what are we, how are we doing here? We got oil coming out of here and here. I do not want my tank to overflow up here, but we're good for a while. There's not enough room in that tank for all of this oil, actually. So we're gonna need a bigger tank if we want to get all that oil out of there. I could build up this way. You know what, let's do that. Let's go up here. And then we'll bring it up to this level. We'll build the rest of it in a second here once we have our ladder. I didn't really need a ladder here actually. I can get rid of that. Just need the wall. We'll leave a place for them to get through right here just for now as they build it. And then on the other side, uh, I'm going to have to have a bit of a lopsided tank here because uh, this stuff's in the way. We could push this up. We could do something like this. Over the... You know what? They don't have to come down here very often. And I've retired the mushrooms that were going on here, so maybe we'll just do this. Leave the airflow there. It's not really hurting anything. That should be good. And then that tank can fill up quite a bit more. 
This copper fire bowl. What's oh, it's pretty warm in here. We could use this heat to grow pinch pepper nuts, I think. I really have no use for the oil anymore. Kind of made all the plastic we're gonna need. And we got a bunch of petroleum sitting in tanks. Okay, this thing's still not uh, boiling. Let's go deeper. Let's push our luck here. We'll go one more tile. And try to get some steam in here. The turbines are gonna be nice and pre-cooled, that's for sure. And if this works out well, we can put another couple turbines over the top here and we should be good. Oh, you know what? I have to turn this pump off. Otherwise the steam is going to fly out of there. Let's uh, disable that. I'm going to make that emergency because I can see some steam coming already. And we don't really want to shove any steam out of here. Okay, here we go. Steam is coming. Just in time. I'm glad I asked them to turn this on. It's raining. This looks so cool. Look at this bubbling off here. It looks pretty damn real. They did a really good job with the... Like, how do you program this to make it look so nice? I think there's some repeated patterns that they use, but still, it looks... We're getting hot in here now. We're getting hot, baby. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, now we're in the real stuff. All this all this heat's gonna conduct through here. What's the conductivity of obsidian two? Okay, now we're getting maybe too too hot. Hundred degrees. This is where I think I need to use some automation with some doors. But we'll just see how this goes here first. Hopefully this CO2 gets out of the way so we can get to the turbines. Water's almost used up. Actually, there's quite a bit of it still there. It's working pretty well, though. Not quite getting to the top, though. I heard another dupe, so let's get them. Now, do we want them on this planet, or do we want them on one of the other planets? All their food here, 61,000. Oh no, I forgot to turn this off. <laughs> Uh, we've got a bit of a petroleum leak. Oh boy. <laughs> Always forget the bottle openers. I forgot I had so much petroleum here. That's okay, we can uh, mop it up. Not the end of the world. Uh, it might freeze if it gets too low here. Okay, mop that up. Mop that up. Probably not going to be able to mop too much of it up there. Eventually it'll freeze into a solid down there. We'll just leave it alone. And we got some mopping to do here. In fact, we need to get up here and seal this in. Take this wheeze ward out, seal this up, and then dig all this ice out of here. I see things are melting up here as well. I do have a crazy amount of ice sitting right here. On this tile, you can see I dropped in about 60 tons so far with this dispenser. That reminds me, we need to get some more water going here. More ice, please. We need more ice. Let's do... Let's just do a lot of ice. That's... Each of these is 800 kilograms, which is about a tile of water, so we don't want to go too crazy. We don't want to overflow on this end thing. This end either. But once it gets to this level, if above 500, let's make it above 1. It should start pumping it to the sieve, and then most of it should go into these extra tanks. Let's get rid of this pipe here. And maybe put some more tanks in. Right there should be fine. And right here should be fine. And we'll get the pump, uh, the pipes ready to remove this water. Coming this way. And that's going to go to an electrolyzer or two. So we'll get that ready. Okay. 
looking good. Okay, this all melted or is melting. Priority nine. Seal this up. And we'll do a priority one sweep of all this ice because eventually it'll melt. Oh, you know what? We need to seal this up at some point. Let's do that now. We're gonna do this as an emergency, right? Here. We'll do one at a time, actually. Because otherwise we're gonna lose some gas at the top. Come on, Big Dennis. Okay, now we're now we're venting precious oxygen. Okay, we'll do this as an emergency as well. And the rest we'll just do as priority nine. We can do this, and this, and this, and then this one, and then we'll save that one for last. Oh, and I need a way to get down once we go to dig all that. And let's this. Cue them up with a bunch of stuff. This should be good for now. Back to the main project. Oh, I was going to take on another dude. Let's just take them on the main planet here. Main asteroid. Uh, I can't dig. Kind of dangerous. That is uh, 87. How's our schedule looking? Let's move some dupes down to a lower schedules. 13. That should be good. Okay. Uh, let's go down a bit here and see how we're doing. This team's at 103. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we got water forming over here. I don't want any petroleum to get in there. That would be really bad. I'm actually going to put a little lip right here. For now, I don't want any petroleum leaking in here. That'll gum up the works. Still got water here. Temperature 107. This is coming down to 500. This one's still 1400. We could, uh. We could be patient. Or we could dig down a little bit more. Widen this so more water can touch the hot obsidian. Okay, come on. How are these guys doing? Steam is 100. We still have this water stuck here. I think it's pretty safe to uh, open this up now. Let that water flow down. Oh, this guy's going to be mopping forever. We don't want that. Let's mop this side. You know what? <laughs> They're going to be mopping forever. At least the, as, as, long, as, long, as long as the petroleum doesn't get out of here, we're, we're good, I think. Okay, now we've got a couple more touching. Steam down here is still not that hot. Not a whole lot of water left. Oh yeah, let's just go for it. We'll open her right up. We're gonna always seal it and hurry if bad things happen. And you know what, we could put a door right here. I think I might put a door right here, out of uh, steel. I think I'm getting pretty close to the end of the series. There are, there is this planet I want to explore explore with the gassy moose and this one we sent some robots and dug down but there's not really much to do on this planet it's just a bunch of water we could turn it into food we could turn it into oxygen we could uh, shoot it to another planet but it's just water and we've got lots of water this one could be interesting 
Uh, I know there is ways to kind of chi dig into the magma, but... And then I do want to send the robots here and see what's under under this planet, because it uh, looks pretty interesting. Oh, uh, and this one... Let's mop up that stuff. We can try to clean up this map a little bit more as well. We can do some digging. Actually, you know what? Let's build the floor instead. Uh, or some ladders, maybe. What have we got? Lots of sedimentary rock yet? Let's just go across here. Open this right up. Now we are going to run out of slime here at some point. Which will mean the mushrooms will be all done. But the only reason I came to this planet was for resin and we've got quite a bit of it now. Not quite sure how I'm going to set it home yet, but... I just realized there's no way for the dupes to get it up here, so we better fix that. Maybe put some ladders here. We might have some space under here. Have to be careful. I don't think there is, but... Now, it looks like gas can leak out these corners, but they're actually covered. Yeah, we should probably sweep up some of this mess, but... I uh, don't know if I have any place for it to go. What do we got here? A whole mixture of everything. Let's get some other containers ready for general sweepy. We haven't used Sweepy yet, actually. We have so many dupes, we don't really need the Sweepy labor. Yeah, let's make sure things have not boiled here. 106 degrees. Okay, down here it's 400. Uh, we might need some kind of way to transfer the heat up to this steam. I didn't realize how... Uh, it is getting hotter. Hmm. Listen to that. Sounds like French fries or something. That magma is loud. Okay, 107. Uh, disabled. Oh, our coolant is too cool. And it is stuttering a bit still. Take a little bit more out. Oh, now it's working fine. Okay, so when it's enabled, it's smooth. But when it's not enabled, let's take a little bit more out anyway. We're going to need to get it even hotter in here, faster. It might take a while for the heat to conduct all the way up to the top here. Uh, let's go even deeper, maybe? Into the abyss here? Maybe if we build some diamond shift plates along here, we'll get some more action. Looks like the CO2 disappeared or got shoved over here. Nope. Disappeared. <laughs> Make sure this door works. I think I might put a conveyor loop to transfer some heat up, maybe? Oh, it's too hot for them here. I forget how hot they can get in their suits. Hmm. We definitely don't want the magma flowing in just yet. Maybe we'll stop right here. But we need, like, a, a way to push this heat up to the top. Maybe we can do this. Conveyor rail uh, out of steel. If we do a loop down into here. I think we can do that. Not sure what we'll use on the rails, but uh, let's see. Build a loop down to here, and then up to here. Let's 
So this will be this will be the down part. We want a command bridge of steel. That'll be down, and this will be up. And I think uh, refined carbon has a really high melting point. Let's see. Refined carbon. Your melting point is 4,300. Okay, yeah, that'll work. And conductivity, three. That's decent. Yeah, we can use that. That'll work. Down we go again. Down to the bottom. Okay, I'll build that. And we gotta load some in. So let's put a conveyor a loader. Maybe right off to the side here. Out of steel. And then we'll load. Let's do another bridge right here. Oops, because I'm still building there. We'll load it right here. And put it that way. Okay, that'll work. And that needs power. That's on the big power anyway. Steam 107. Yeah, that'll bring that heat up nicely. We could even puncture this and go straight into the magma, and maybe we will still. The steel shouldn't melt. 2400. And... Yeah, we could... If this doesn't work... I think it will. I think it will conduct the heat up to the top. But if it doesn't work, we can go deeper. And then I don't know how long it's going to take to uh, destroy all this heat, but... Probably a very very long time. <laughs> That's my guess. And I don't think three steam turbines is going to be enough. That's why I, I'm thinking of extending this thing over to this area. That's why we're pulling this liquid out here. I think I'll turn this pump off. Actually, you know what? We might do this across the whole map eventually, so we'll keep it going. As long as our our oil pit has enough. That's all insulated, that's good. Uh, once it gets to the high point here, oh, you know what, we're gonna seal this in. Once it gets to the high point, we'll remove this layer here so it can ooze up. It has a way to get through here anyway, but there's a nice uh, chunk of heat here though. We go. Oh, here comes Speedy. Come on, Devin. He's hungry already. He gave up. <laughs> oh, dupes. Okay, we got water getting stuck here. That's not good. Hmm. You know what? Let's uh, abort this idea. And hopefully the water will flow back in and get hot again. I haven't built a conveyor rail system like this for a while for heat exchange. Uh, refined carbon is under what? Consumable ore. Makes sense, kind of. Burning seven, we'll load that in there. Oops, wrong overlay. Grand experiment. This is still, um, still water. Taking a sweet time building this. I guess it is a lot of steel. We'll make this a nine as well, or an eight. How much refined carbon do we have? Nine tons. Oh, we got plenty. This was temporary. I think I'll remove this. Actually, they can't even get in there. Never mind. There's no way for them to get in here right now. It's looking steamy. I 
I think I removed too much coolant. <laughs> I think I scrolled away. Uh, we'll fix that, I guess. Yeah, I scrolled away while the Duke was removing stuff. Now I'm going to put too much in again. Potentially. We'll have to time this just right. Okay, it's filling, filling, filling. We could use a reservoir to fix this problem. Okay, that's probably good enough. It's gonna get locked up. Bah humbug. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess we'll play the uh, empty game again. And this time we'll watch it. Make sure it, uh, it's all good. We could send it into a reservoir. And then we wouldn't have this problem at all. But we'll do it this way again. How many beads should we remove? Four, five... Okay, that's probably good, right? There. How cold are we here? We're chilling. We're chilled. Very chill. Super chill. Okay, how are we going here? We have uh, any refined carbon on this thing yet? Um... Oh, I need to allow manual use. That should help. Here they come, here it comes, okay. That's probably gonna, probably gonna be enough and it might get locked up as well. Okay, this is, what temperature is this thing at? Fine carbon at 72, that's not very good. We might need a diamond shift plate down there. Did they deliver just the right amount? What is this? Why does this look different? There's no basket thing there. Hm. Okay, let's stop this from getting more stuff in it. That should be sufficient. Okay, we got our loop. I think we need some conduction down here. We'll put some diamond down there. Diamond is a dupe's best friend. Okay, temp's coming up. This chamber is probably way too big, actually, when you think about it. <laughs> but it, uh, I kind of wanted to do the steam tour runs up here for reasons. 115. Should we go deeper? I think I'll put in a couple more ladders here. The minute we get into the magma, it'll start... It'll cool down, and it'll start solidifying at, uh, what was it, 1409? Yeah. Turns into igneous rock at 1409. Come on, dupes. It's getting so laggy that they just kind of sit around. That reminds me, where is our rocket and how is it doing? Okay, luckily it's not in space. Is Danny in the rocket? Yeah, Danny's in the rocket. Danny's almost out of food. <laughs> 5,000 calories. I think the rocket is actually at the surface. Yeah, let's get Danny out of the rocket so they can refill things. Danny, get the suit on. Don't forget the suit. Okay, you got your suit, and then we'll go grounded. 
all. Get the fridge filled up. Let Danny have a break. And there's no water left for the toilet, so maybe we should get some water in there. I haven't rebuilt the water line since, uh... Since I moved this rocket. So, we, we don't really even have a water line anymore. Oh yeah, we do, we're here. We are going to need a pipe up to there. We already got a pipe here for this stuff, but let's reuse it and take it up this way. And plug it in there. That comes down here, and let's steal this here, right up here maybe. And then we'll put that water into the rocket instead. Reactor's been working flawlessly since uh, got all the kinks worked out. It's been a couple hundred cycles, I think. We've got uh, our fuel has actually been going up because the bees have been busy. Those little busy nuclear bees. These weasworts are kind of keeping things cool at the top here. Okay, we're gonna refill the rocket as well once they're done with this pipe, I think. We don't want dupes standing around when we fire rad bolts into this thing, because then they make it hit. Yeah, the reason they stand around is because it's so lagged. The game's like calculating what's the next dupe do? What's the next dupe do? If you slow things down, they actually move a bit faster. And running at full speed, they just stand around. Like in perpetual stupefaction. Okay, we're gonna point this up here. Boom, boom, fill the rocket. Uh, it's possible that they'll be running along here to fill the fridge, so maybe we'll hold off on that chest for now. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Someone almost got zapped. Okay, back down we go. How are we doing here? We got steam up. Oh, I saw 152, 129. So close. You know what? I should have ran this like over this way. And I need to take some more oil out. Because it's still not smooth when it's disabled. Oil at minus one. We want that moving smoothly. That's... That's it. That's smooth. Okay. Perfect. Okay, this, uh... Refined carbon's at 200 degree, 250, so that's good. got steam at a thousand degrees. Yeah, that'll... that should get warm. As long as things start, don't start melting. 150 here. Yeah, it'll... It, it's gonna... it's gonna eventually heat up. There we go. We got action. We had action. <laughs> I should have made this uh, loop much bigger. We still can. Yeah, let's... Well, we're gonna probably come down through here as well. Let's open this up. Right to there. Okay, they're running. That's good. Destroying heat. That is what we like to see. Now there's no reason we can't have another one there. Let's put that in. And can we fit another one in? 
Mm, something's in the way. Oh, the ladder's in the way. Let's move this ladder over here. And then I think we can fit one more on that side. Now, if I vacuum out this chamber and remove all the oil, we can use this area, but I think I'll go this way. Because we're pulling this oil out of here. We're vacuuming out this area here. So we could sh like expand this thing to be maybe this whole block here, if needed. Temperature, 150, perfect. Okay, this needs power. And it needs a place for the water to go. But we've got a bit of stuff in the way here. <laughs> Let's remove... Hmm. Could probably retire... What just happened? I didn't even do anything. What the heck? I didn't... I don't think I did anything. This pump, what was what was this made out of? Steel? Gold. Oops. Oh, I think this was the emergency. Weird. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's retire um this pump. I mean this pipe here. Don't need that anymore. And this pipe we don't necessarily want here. Get rid of that. I think we'll get rid of that and then we'll come down here. You know what? This bridge is... Oh, we can't actually do that. We gotta, we gotta get rid of this here. And then come around and join into this pipe here. A lot of crap in the way here. Okay, this is coming down here. And then... We'll join right there. There we go. And then all the water's getting poured out here. In retrospect, we should have poured it here. But... You know what? Let's open this up as well. This can be steel now. Along here. Temperature in here, 130. That's pretty ideal. Now, my cooling loop isn't cooling this one here, but... We could extend it. I think it'll be okay, though. It's kind of cold around this area. Maybe. But it's working. It's destroying heat. Slowly. Temperatures... Thousand degrees there, and 150. Yeah, I think it's. I think we'll just let it run. And I guess we'll we'll drill down more once this. Oh, what the heck is this? Lead. We got molten lead down here. This wire, this old wire. Oh, that's iron. I think I had some lead wires. What's this one? Lead. Oh, crap. Uh, lead melts at like 3 something? 327? This we need to replace with steel. 489 before it all melts. Yes. Then it should be okay. This iron should be fine. Melting point 1500. Yeah, we're good there. Molten lead. Jeez. Serious stuff. I think it's okay though. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. What does it take to turn lead into gas? 27. I don't think we'll get there. I don't think this little gum up there works too much. You know what? We could put another 
few shift plates in here. Oh, we hit the one hour mark. At least we got the project done and working though. So now it's just time. Time, time, time. So the rest of the series, um, like I said, I want to open up the temporal tear to end the game. But I also want to explore those other few rockets. I mean, uh, asteroids with rockets. So I want to check out Kafola. So we'll send some robots here next episode and drill down and see what we can find. Look at them all. She, holy crap, there's a lot of them. And the pathfinding on these? Lag. This is the source of lag. This is almost as bad as jetpacks. Each one of these has all these... Yeah, this is causing some lag. We'll have to confine these guys to a, a single tile or expire them. And look at all this meat. And deep freeze. Yeah, I definitely want to go here. And maybe see what's under here. I don't really care about this molten one too much. I mean, we could land and take a look. And the water planet, I'm not going to do anything with. I thought I would, but it's just more of the same. There's nothing really new. So, I think we'll wrap it up there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit that like button if you enjoy the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.